he never pulled it out. He came straight down. As soon as he got right here, yo, just banged on him. Yeah. And he's right here, the flat nigga. I'm tired of hearing about people getting shot every day. The young guys out here, they live in a certain type of way, but they need to keep that pistol on them. And quite frankly, your ops ain't the only people you got to worry about out here. You got to worry about the police because they out here shooting to kill. They not playing. Nobody's playing. When it comes to these guns. So right now. We going to um, watch. A video. Police involved shooting. Shooting a teenager. Right. We going to start off with the news clip. And then we going to play a. A viral clip that's floating around on Instagram. Of a guy who was sitting right beside him. When the police jumped out. Let's start with the news clip. And see what they talking about. Fair use. Live from WJZ, this is Breaking News. Hello, everybody. I'm Nikki Zizaza. And I'm Vic Carter. Police say this whole situation started with a foot chase. They tell us they ordered a 17-year-old to drop his weapon. When he refused, an officer opened fire. We know that suspect was rushed to the hospital. And Cap, it did not start off with a foot chase. It did not start off with a foot chase. Cap. Let's watch. Jay-Z is live. Stefan Dingle is at the scene. And Stefan, what's going on there right now? Hey there, Nikki and Vic. Uh, we're here between Franklin Town Road and Catherine Street here along Frederick Avenue. What I can tell you right now is that suspect that, that the police is calling a 17 year old, he is in critical condition right now at the hospital. As far as how this all began, they say this started when uh, a police officer from their district action team here in the Western District was sitting on a stoop talking to a resident when he noticed that this uh, suspect, this 17 year old, was displaying traits of, uh, of an armed person as per the training and policy. Of BPD, and they say that once that officer started to notice those traits, they he started chasing this 17-year-old, uh, and then uh, Baltimore Police's uh, deputy commissioner explains what happened next. Now, I watched the video that's floating around on Instagram, and that's more true versus this: the police pulled up and a foot chase begun, and he just started running. So hold on, let's get let's let's see what they're talking about. Let's just let's just hear them out first. Um, around 1.25 p.m. this afternoon, officers were in the 2500 block of McHenry Street. They approached an individual who they believed was displaying characteristics of an armed person. As they approached, the individual took off running. A foot pursuit in, um, occurred through several alleys. As they came into the 300 block of Frederick uh, Avenue, I mean 2500 Frederick on the 300 block of Catherine, the officer was ordering the individual to drop a weapon numerous times. As the officers turned the corner, <clears throat> the individual was running with the weapon in his hand. He refused to drop it. After multiple commands, the officer shot at least one time. Suspect was struck. He went down. Officers rendered aid, got him to the hospital. It's a 17 year old male. That sounds a little different than what happened, well, with the guy who was there. What from running from the police with him had to say. So hold on, let's get that. Let's get that. Let's get that opened up. Now I'm going to say this, like, Shorty was 17 years old, right? He was 17. Yo, one more year, you could go to the store and buy the gun. You can get your license, concealed carry. Right. And carry the gun on you legitimately. As a matter of fact, you could start a security business and get a bunch of guns and hire up a bunch of people with guns, and y'all could just have guns. You could buy guns and shoot them for target practice out in the country or or at a range for fun. You want to kill? You could join the army and get paid to. All I'm, the point I'm trying to make is like. 
we got to change our mentality when we out here and how we treat each other. We just out here killing each other. We got these guns on us, and we just out here killing indiscriminately every day across the board. All right, so this is the video that I seen on Instagram. I'm in the community today. The By the way, this video is from um at B more underscore homicide underscore sixty four xx. Credit to them for the video. You got your man with you today. He ugly as shit. He like wet back. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right, Little so, dirty ass Mexican. So you got two police out here. So both the young dude that got shot by the police is sitting beside the police on the steps. I'm going to tell you like this. I know how I feel to have that gun on you. And, and, and the police been in that corner and your heart drop. Like, yeah, you go to jail, you get killed, anything happen. It's like seeing the op by surprise. But I'm going to say this. He is kind of cool to be sitting there with that pistol on him. They say he had an uh, extended clip on that, like a 30-round clip on that handgun. He may have had a switch on there. Who knows? But he's sitting there looking pretty cool and calm. Which is a good thing in his situation, because you don't want to be looking all crazy, you know. So what I'm assuming, I'm a, I'm gonna assume that they seen his energy, right? They jumped out. He's sitting on the, they sitting on the steps. He's sitting beside him. The one police standing up, the um Spanish individual, he's standing up looking at him, while the other guy's holding the camera recording. According to the comments, this guy that's holding the camera, he's trying to distract the police, keep talking shit to him, because he know that his man dirty with that hammer. What you doing? You ugly as shit. By the way, also, this officer, I've seen videos of him floating around on this same page of them recording him, cussing them out. Because in the black community, when you have a black police officer, when you live in a certain type of way, you look at him as a sellout. It don't matter what his background is. He could have grew up in the suburbs, never got in trouble. But just because he's black, they're going to look at him as a sellout. One of our problems, whatever. But everybody that's black, and we got to understand that every, just because we black, doesn't necessarily mean that we live in this lifestyle. Because that's the world he's in, and they're in, and that's the environment. It's strange to see another black guy wearing that badge, even in 2023. Because why are you bothering people? I'm not. I'm actually interacting with them. And your truck dirty as shit. Yeah, that dirty ass truck. out on him. Look at that bullshit for real. Say cheese. You know I look like a nigga off of my wife and kids. <laughs> my bad. Why you give me all that? Shut the fuck up. Shut up. I'm gonna tell you like this: Shorty is concealing the hammer pretty well. He's definitely nervous. But they are. But the, see, the thing is, the police are hip to what's going on. Obviously, that's why they jumped out on him. They already hit. That's why he's sitting beside him talking to him. He on him. He's trying to figure out what he's going to do next. The police for real. The black one. The Spanish one, he just like, he got his cover. He got his six. But see, the police not showing no signs that they know he got the weapon, but they know. Shut up. Yeah, you shut up too. Okay. They shot my man. Oh, oh my God, bro! They shot him, dummy. So now you got the dude who who was there with the camera. He ain't even do shit. To them after they shot him. Shot, I mean, he ain't even pull it out because I'm running with him the whole time. You good, dummy? So right now, um, he laying on the ground. The dude with the white t-shirt, he was the one who had the gun that was sitting right next to the police. So now he laying on the ground. The caption says 12 shots. And the police, what the um the deputy commissioner said that the officer shot once. So there's a conflict right there. Now, one thing I know for sure from being in the streets, the police don't always tell the truth. I don't know if you know about Baltimore City with the gun task force. They just, it's like five police officers just went to prison, federal prison for robbing people, planting drugs and stuff on people. That's not a new thing. And not just even with the gun task force. City had to cough out millions of dollars in um, 
overturn a bunch of cases that had their name on it because their credibility was shot. And they had to pay. But I personally been robbed by police. I know it's true. Police that put you in a situation in Baltimore City, you know, and, and have people out here trying to kill you. Um, I know a situation years ago when the um, police jumped out on the dude. He was dirty. They said, give me a gun and we'll let you go. So the dude gave him a gun to get let go. So the police went back around that neighborhood and said, yeah, he gave us a gun in a body. So guess what happened? The people in the neighborhood was gunning for the dude. So I don't know if the dude gave him a body or whatever, but, hey, they don't play fair. They're the mm-hmm. biggest gang. And, that, and, 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 I'm, and I'm not going to say that all police officers are bad, but in Baltimore City, it's different, man. And it ain't a black and white thing. It's a blue thing. He ain't even pull that bitch out. I was running with him the whole time. Trying to shred their ass. Hi, that's KD. So now, um, and I hope Shorty um, KD, you know, pulled through. And I'm going to say this, right? Um, Yo just said he was trying to distract them. Like, that's why you see him disrespecting the police. All in their face trying to draw the attention off of him. You know, cat and mouse. So, and, and, and when yo broke off, they don't show him running off. But when he eventually broke off because he had that gun on him, they knew he had the gun. Yo saying, the dude that's recording, unfortunately, he don't have that on camera, that he said he didn't even pull it out. And yo just got sh- shot him in the back. Bust off 12 shots. That's why the people in the background going crazy. They're like, dang, you ain't had to let it out like that. And You know, um, you know, like, you hear about stuff on the news or right now on our phones, on Instagram, Facebook, for the most part. TikTok people getting killed by the police, shot by the police and stuff like that. But and, and just individuals in general getting killed by the police or shot. Just people getting killed, period, across the board. The majority of the killing is done by the citizens and not the police. But that's neither here nor there, right? But you hear about it. But when you out there and you see that, it's different. I don't know. I mean, a lot of people, I've experienced it. It's, it's different. It's different. So you, you can feel the energy and the people, everybody going off. He never pulled it out. He came straight down. As soon as he got right here, yo, just banged on him. Yo, shot him right here, the flat nigga. Straight bitch. They shot our ass for nothing. He ain't even pulling. Yeah, that's a real intense situation. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be fair. I'm not gonna let the old street me, like, stare the conversation. I'm gonna be fair. You know, yo at work. Let's say if you do construction. And you don't want nobody to pull no concrete on you and bury you in the ground by mistake. You want to make your home. It's no different. I don't know nothing about this officer. I ain't in the streets, but I've seen him floating around the internet. And um, I don't know how he deal with the people. But yo, at work. I don't know if he one of the good ones or the bad ones, but yo, at work. And then the young guy that got shot, a gun possession is not a death penalty. It's not. So do he deserve to die running away? Do he turn around, pull the gun out, and shoot? It's easy for us to speculate and say who should have did what, this, that, and the third. There's no time machines. There's no do-overs. This is not a video game. You're not going to respawn somewhere and start over and got to get you. This, this is not. It's, it's, we, we could all Monday morning quarterback, you know, and, and say could have, should have, would have. But I'm going to say this to the young dude and all the young dudes, whoever may be listening. Yo. I got a cousin that just came home from doing um, 24, he had 40 years, about to be 50 years old. I got another cousin doing life. He got almost uh, 19 years in and countless other people, right? Yo, they want to come home. They want to come home. They want to come home and we, and there's people (laughs) that, you know, they're dead. It's like we're throwing rocks at the jail and throwing rocks at the grave. Now, for, now, I get it. We live in a certain type of environment. You know what I'm saying? And no, 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 no. We can change. We got the power to change the environment by just doing shit different. Nobody want to say that, though. We don't have to do this stupid ass shit. We can educate ourselves. We can elevate. 
We can make the sacrifice and put in the work so the next generation get don't have to do that. We can put the guns down. We don't have to do that. We're not animals. So I'm not, I, I, I get the whole thing of, yo, we live this way, that way. The ops is this murder, murder, kill. Yo, no. Because at the end of the day, yo, we can make different decisions. Yo, people, places, and things. We could just operate different. And yo, and 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 this in in far as weapons, yo, like you could go to the store and buy one. I wish I, I lost that right. But a lot of you young guys could go to the store and buy one. You can learn how to use it properly. Lock it away when you're done. We don't it don't have to be this way. It don't have look at the guys like the dude Black Rambo. Like, people send them guns, fresh off the dead, going to press, different kind of guns, just to test. Yo, it don't have to be this way. And another thing, the relationship between us and the police don't have to be this way either. Yo, it's time for us to come up out of the dark and come into the real world. No more living in the shadows, yo. We raising our kids in the shadows. That's why stuff like this happen. That's a kid. I got a son older than him. Hopefully he pulled through. Because he don't deserve to die. He deserve a chance. But we don't give ourselves a chance. We got to come up out of the shadows, man. These kids deserve to live a regular life. I see all these other different groups. They going to college. They doing this. And it don't necessarily mean you got to go to college. It's not what I'm, but we got to. You know, we uh, from the cradle to the grave. Literally. Or prison. Every time I open my phone, I go online and, and, and all the murder apps, murder Inc., murder this city, murder that city, Chicago, New York, Baltimore, Detroit, Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Look, yo, that's us dying. That's us dying. Think about that. And it's unfortunate that Shorty got shot by the police. But hopefully, I pray that somebody else can learn from the situation. Don't be sitting out here with these guns. You ain't got to murder the ops. Yo, box it out. Yo, guess what? You know what? Swatch it. Let's be men. Let's try to reason. We not animals. Because ultimately, that's why he was out there with that gun. Because he might have been in fear for his life. And a lot of times, we don't know how to resolve conflicts. I ain't going to drag the young dude or none of them. I'm not even dragging the police. No, 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 no. Sorry to disappoint you. I'm not doing none of that. I'm calling it down the middle. Yo at work, yo living his life. And unfortunately, his job is to do what he do, and his life is to be how he is. But we need to change that so he can have a shot at life. Then the police can worry about burglars and stuff like that, not picking little Black men, children, women off the ground or pit, them, pit sheets over them, rushing them to the hospital and succumbing to the, 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 the shots dying. It's big business and niggas dying. Funeral homes, hospital, everybody getting money. And if you don't die, you go to prison, they, get, you get, they making money that way. Free your mind, man. Free your mind. Yo, we wasn't meant to be this. We wasn't. Blame it on whoever, whatever. All right, if you finish blaming and, and point fingers, then look in the mirror and make changes. It's your life. It's yours. I changed my mind. I, changed, I just changed my mind about it. That's what I did, if you want to know. I just changed my mind. It was no fear. That shit ain't slick. There's no party when you come home. There's no going away party when you go in. Nobody gives a fuck. And by the time you come out, after you sit down for a while, there's new pieces on the board. Your neighborhood ran by the little kids now. The ones that survive. And they ain't gonna, guess what? They ain't gonna have no respect for you. Some may, they'll kill you. People coming home getting killed. People in their 40s still getting shot and killed in the hood. So you might have made it. You might have made it past eighteen, 
but you back out there with that hammer. No. And that's the real problem. That's why he was out there like that. We're going to watch this video, and I'm going to shut up, man. But it's sad. That bitch out. Fuck that. Oh, dummy. I was right there. He ain't shoot. He ain't do nothing. I was right there with him. Keep going black, sir. Keep going don't back. Don't touch me. I'm going to smack the shit out of you. I'm going to smack the shit out of you. My man ain't even do nothing. He shot for nothing. What is wrong with y'all? Y'all did wrong. He ain't even do nothing. He ain't do nothing. Go KD. He ain't do nothing. You know, in the community today. He ain't doing the community today. Got your man with you today. He ugly as shit. He like wet back. That's the video from the beginning. Little dirty ass Mexican. What you doing? You ugly as shit. Cause why you bothering people? I'm not. I'm actually interacting with them. And your I'm truck dirty as. I ain't gonna watch the whole thing again. I'm gonna say this: like y'all can find me if y'all wanna watch it. Yo, hopefully, Shorty pulled through. They say he in critical condition, 17 years old. I mean, yo ain't even grow a beard yet. Yo mustache ain't even come in all the way yet. And they say he shot him in his back or something like that. Yo might be, he could be if he make it. I hope he make it. But yo might get be paralyzed or anything. We got to do better. I'm going to say something like this. The last thing I'm going to say. People, places, and things. People, places, and things. And the police are paid shooters. So keep that in mind. That's it, man. I'm out.